If you think about moving to Southwest Florida, you're going to want to watch this video because in it, I'm going to talk about the best, best vacationing tips for living in Cape Coral. So let's start the first thing. We've got a lot of sun here, right? So hence the large uh, straw hat. You'd be surprised how cooler this keeps you in our warm climate, especially when the sun's beaming on you. Lightweight shirts. This is a button-up collared shirt. Nice shirt, right? Very lightweight, though. Um, you're going to sweat, but it kind of keeps you, your skin cooler. At times, you might even see people wearing long sleeve shirts because those long sleeves actually keep you cooler uh, because it keeps the sun from baking on your skin. It's something I learned. I was like, this is nuts, but it works, right? Also, a good pair of sunglasses. Um, it kind of helps um, with the brightness that you might not be used to from where you're at. Uh, but if you guys don't know, Cape Coral is situated in southwest Florida. Um, to our west, we have a couple islands called Sanibel Island, Captiva Island, and Pine Island, which consist of Boquilia, St. James City, and Matt Lachey. Uh, to the east, we have Fort Myers. And if you go two hours north is Tampa, two hours east is uh, Miami. So it kind of gives you that positioning. Uh, we have great beaches on Sanibel and Captiva. There quite often, but one of the biggest things I like to tell people is how big of a boating community Cape Coral is. Um, it consists of miles of canals consisting of saltwater and freshwater canals. So that's something to be aware of when you're vacationing. Hey, can I get out to the Gulf or not? I myself live on a freshwater canal, so it's a very long canal system um, that a lot of people end up having pontoon boats. And they just go for nightly cruises, fishing. We got peacock bass. Snooks made its way in this freshwater canal. Uh, my nephew also, his family, they live on it, so he'll be out here fishing in his john boat. Uh, we go quite often fish in our backyard for bass. Um, I think my daughter caught a peacock bass the other day, so that was pretty nice. Um, but it's definitely built around that boating atmosphere. We have a little saltwater boat that we'll go out into, uh, I'll put into the Matt Lachey area and we'll go out to Cape Casa at times or just fishing in the, the backwater flats. So it's definitely got a lot of options for you between the beaches, um, the, the water sports, the activities that you can do. Uh, but let's talk about the seafood, right? Um, a big cuisine down here that may, may not be talked about is uh, mullet. Um, you definitely know you're at a, a good southern restaurant if they have it on the menu. Now you might be saying, whoa, 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 mullet, that's bait. Sure, it is bait, but it was also very common and one of the big resources that was exported out of here years ago. Uh, mullet's been turned into mullet dip, fried mullet, blackened mullet. I've had it all the ways and it's delicious. It's Everything is how you cook it. And it's definitely a good cuisine. I, myself, I get a lot of my favorite seafood restaurants on Matt Lachey. And I'll probably do a video on them um, coming up here soon. Um, but between some of the fresh seafood, and, and if you've never had fresh fish before, once you have it, you will be spoiled and ruined. Uh, especially when it comes to shrimp. Uh, we have local shrimp boats that bring that in, and it is delicious. It's one of my favorite things. I, I would say um, shrimp is, is in the top, and um, obviously fresh fish of any sort. Uh, but definitely try yourself at the seafood if you're down here. And there's so many places that have water views that you can hang out on and enjoy our, our beautiful weather and uh, some of the cuisines that are happening down here. Um, so uh, keep that all in mind when you're vacationing down here. We also have some eco preserves you can check out. Um, a lot of um, kind of like open air zoos that you can visit to see a lot of animals. Um, there's so many different things that when you start really exploring, it's very diverse what you can go do uh, between shopping centers, if that's what you're into, seeing some of the local arts. Um, but there's just so much to do. I recommend checking out this area because just keep in mind that if you're thinking about moving in nine days or 90 days, do me a favor, shoot me a text, get me a phone call, book a Zoom call because I'd love to show you around town.